latest demo of the, a Spotlight Sprint. Um, We've been focusing on um, kind of finishing up some work for Parker, uh, dealing with some technical debt, uh, and while we're also doing some analysis on the upcoming virtual tribunal sprints. Uh, mostly what I'm going to be demoing here is kind of wrap up on some Parker details um, and uh, some, some technical debt that we've been working on. Um, so we've actually done two releases uh, during this uh, sprint. So this is uh, this demo will comprise of the um, what you can find in our change log of 1.11.0 and 1.12.0. The first thing that we'd like to show is um, we've added a date range facet to uh, two exhibits. Um, I'll point out really briefly that we did notice after we deployed this that there's a small styling um, uh, tweak that, that needs to be made that um, didn't make it to production, but we'll, uh, we'll address that uh, very soon. Um, but as you can see, we've got kind of a, a, the date range slider here that you might be familiar with in um, applications like Searchworks or other, other Blacklight apps around. So now um, exhibit curators have the ability to, um, to, to disable that, rename it, rearrange it, um, whatever they like to do. Um, also, we've added a couple other facets, um, and one that you can see in the Parker exhibit is like the repository facet. So a couple of facets um, have, have been added into, uh, into our exhibits, into our indexing. We also added um, an expand all link for the nested related items. Um, so as you can see here, we have the, um, the metadata panel opened up. And now there is an expand all link that, uh, when clicked, will open up all the metadata um, for the nested related items, um, and then as well also allow you to um, collapse all of them um, together. So not only do you have the control um, individually for one, but you can uh, kind of open all of them. Um, kind of also related to this, we've renamed the uh, the button that pops that panel open um, from view all metadata to more details. Another thing that we updated with these releases was um, the BibTeX upload panel that you can see here, uh, which is enabled for the Parker exhibits. Um, now we have the ability to control which exhibits uh, this will show up for. So now um, if I popped over into another exhibit that this isn't enabled for, you can see um, all of the button is there. Uh, we provide a message just letting them know that it's not enabled for that particular exhibit. Another thing, a new feature that we added, um, or rather kind of addressed something that was uh, not quite working as expected, um, is now for item embeds, when you're embedding the Sewell embed uh, viewer via a search Trevor widget, um, we have, uh, if you go and change the image that you are uh, embedding, as you can see here, I've, this is a multi-image object with 36 images, and I've picked the, uh, the fifth image, and. Um, now, when I save this page, um, we will invoke the Sewell Embed Viewer um, linking to the particular canvas that I had selected, um, as opposed to what was happening previously, even though I would select, say, the sixth canvas, seventh canvas, um, it was still just loading the Sewell Embed Viewer, just showing the first object. Um, so now you, uh, you have the ability, using the Sewell Embed Viewer and Universal Viewer, to jump to a specific uh, image and a multi-image object. And I think that that is all we have for this week. Um, we'll continue working on some more analysis and hopefully have something good to show for uh, next week's demo. Thanks.